Let's try some buffalo boar. 155 grain buffalo boar. Oh yeah. That's a nasty pill right there. Going over 1,300 feet a second. Getting close to 600 foot-pounds of muzzle energy out of this. There ain't nothing short and weak about this. This is like a, a pretty moderate 357 round. It might even be more effective because at 10.2 millimeters, it's 27% larger frontal area than a 9 millimeter or a 357 Magnum. 155 grain. Let's see what she'll do over here. If you have a decocker gun, always get in the habit of decocking, even if you're going to shoot it immediately. It should be a, a muscle memory thing. Decock every single time. If you do that, you'll be safe with one of these. I love decockers. I hate safeties. Hate them. I like decockers. Just remember, just decock it every time. You'll be safe. Let's hit this thing with this 155, and you can compare it to the hard cast. I think this is going to make even more of a mess because the hard cast didn't expand or very little when it went through. Let's try the, the buffalo bore. We'll get right up in this thing's face here. That was way more than that hard cast. You know, that recoil's really light. I've never been recoil shy. I got a 30 out 6 pistol that I shoot one-handed, so I've never been recoil shy. I got a Magnum Research Lone Eagle, and I shoot that one-handed all the time. Funny thing, though, I can't get anybody else to shoot it, even with two hands. I can't get anybody to shoot it even off a bench. <laughs> Let's compare these. The earlier one was hit with that hard cast. You can see this one delivered much more energy to the target. Look at that. The hard cast carried away most of its energy to the target. Away from the target because it just bored a hole through, but... You could feel the concussion and the thump from that buffalo bore round hitting there. That'd be a great round for EDC. The buffalo bore. Gotta love it.